and uh, good evening and welcome everybody a warm welcome to our guest speakers today a good friend of mine mr suvo and also subo datta who are both here from the sn sn ras systems and i personally am also looking forward to listen to this novel technology with regards to fish farming so before i hand it over to uh, suvo and his team uh, i also take this opportunity to introduce uh, suvo who carries a, a btech degree and is currently the cto with the company he is a serial and entrepreneur and the inventor of the blue box which we will hear about more uh, today in the past he has also developed live fish retail stores and transport systems uh, he has had various experience for last 10 years in the field of agri tech energy aviation automobile telecom and consumer products uh, he has deep knowledge with regards to iot ai ml and i'm sure he'll talk about it in how he has implemented in his uh, current business uh, we also have subodh datta who is the program head and he himself is an experienced serial entrepreneur in the field of livestock farming uh creating farm sops aquaculture piggery uh and even microfinancing so with this uh, i hand it over to suvo and his team to uh, please uh, enlighten our uh, gathering here with regards to the novel technology that you have over to you so so thank you so much uh, nilesh sir uh, so with me i have my colleague uh, suvo datta so uh, so subo datta uh, are you there with me yes yes yeah. sir yeah so would you like to introduce our company and maybe after that i can take to uh, take our all of our visitors to the platforms that we have built sure so uh, good evening everyone my name is subo datta and i am the program officer at sn ras system now i i would like to introduce my company we are a aquaculture technology based company which delivers solutions to small medium and large scale farmers and our motto is to increase fish productivity to 30 times through our aquaculture technology as well as reduce crop mortality by four times and uh, i would like to also uh, tell everyone regarding our contract farming model like we have developed for our culture based associations like fpos sghs uh, societies and others in facilitating farmers with super intensive fish farm setup as well as aqua inputs like feeds seeds and medicines as well and we also do a buyback guarantee on production we buy back the produce whatever the farmer uh, produces so uh, further i would like to shubho sarkar to uh, proceed with the presentation yeah sure thank you everyone so thank you uh, very much uh, shubho uh, for the introduction um, <clears throat> so uh, first of all uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, the meeting and sparing your time so we have only two slides to cover so we wanted uh, this presentation to be more of a discussion uh, than just a routine uh, walk through of big size presentations like that so uh, so asnras as mentioned by shubho is a pure technology company so we are using uh, different kind of engineering uh, to increase the productivity of the aquaculture and uh, different kind of in engineering are used uh, to create different kind of platforms also so as you can see uh, i am using my pointer so our basic platform is the engage platform so engage platform uh, is our basic platform then we have a build platform and then we have a scale platform so engage platform is that platform uh, where uh, typically uh, entrepreneurs or uh, farmers who are looking to diversify in aquaculture looking when when they are choosing aquaculture or they are entering into the aquaculture or they wanted to do aquaculture as a basic skill they might be also doing aquaculture but they wanted to upgrade at a basic level so that is the engage platform so typically uh, we help them to develop uh, small kind of farms backyard ponds and uh, here we mostly work on the finger links uh, to them 
like here we source them the fingerling so we focus on the seed and also some aeration system is our focus uh, to start with the engaged platform so here we do not talk about super intensive technologies but our focus is uh, to fertilize their pond better uh, give them the larger size seeds that is our fingerlings because we know that larger size seeds are not available easily from the seed markets that is available in india so usually the smaller seeds like fry or swans these are or jira size seed these are only available so what we do uh, we uh, help uh, the farmers to get the larger size seeds where we grow the seeds into our systems or uh, get it uh, grown through our contract farmers and we source the larger size seed to them so advantage is that the larger size seed will have four times lesser mortality uh, than the smaller size seeds so not only that the larger size seeds will grow faster and a farmer would be able to have at least two crop cycles a year so currently the farmers are only having one crop cycle the reason being they are uh, having the smaller size seeds and um, the mortality is also very high the smaller size seeds are also taking a lot of time to grow so here we are uh, engaging uh, in this platform to help uh, farmers to solve their basic problem that is the seed problem and not only that uh, we are ha helping farmers in this engage platform uh, with uh, fish me medicines the useful bacteria which we culture uh, in our labs and uh, to fertilize the pond better we train them how to do aquaculture and we provide the advanced aeration systems like aspirator aerator and sometimes uh, kind of a turbine blowers also to increase the oxygen level of the pond here a basic pond can be built at around investment of 50000 uh, inr and a farmer if farmer is getting to harvest a year can get a 4 to 6000 uh, rupees income a month so it varies uh, but um, this is the kind of a model that we have built for ng uh the next uh, model is we have is the build platform so when we say build it is uh, something uh, i mean a farmer which is already doing some kind of uh, fish farming in the ponds or a farmer or an entrepreneur who is looking for some kind of a modern technology uh, to start so typically uh, here some smaller sized uh, bioflock system or ras system we introduce and um, here uh, two kinds of model apply here also we are providing the bigger size seeds um, um, either to uh, either to do the grow out or we can provide the smaller size uh, seeds also to the farmers and we ask them to produce fingerlings or the larger size seed and we do the buyback so typically uh, in this kind of system it is one or two tanks of bioflock system so bioflock system um, is a scientific technology uh, where we grow the useful bacteria uh, of, of the bacillus of this group mostly into the water and which is getting uh, converted as a feed uh, for the fishes and uh, but yes uh, it is not like that only the fishes will uh, consume the bioflock we have to put the fish feed also but uh, it is an additional supplement for the fishes and importantly it reduces the amount of excreta or ammonia into the water so this is a kind of an advanced uh, technology or change from engage platform to the build platform and here the typical investment comes to around 1 lakh rupees where a farmer can earn 6 to 10000 yes there is uh, subjected to all kind of uh, livestock principles and uh, uh, the next level market that we have um, uh, market place of the fisheries is the scale model so in this scale model uh, we are talking typically uh, uh, about our core technology that is that is the ras system that we have developed and also some larger site bioflock plants so uh, this is typically our ras system uh, in ras system we have a product called blue box so if you visit our website you will be having more um, uh, exposure of the product so you our website details are pre present here so when you go there you will find that we have developed a ras system where all the filters are integrated into a single box uh, we are having all kind of mechanical filtration protein skimming biological filtration um, 
then uh, advanced oxygenation and ozonation kind of a system followed by uv system so all filters are integrated into one called a blue box so uh, this is the scale model when we, uh, we typically bring this uh, advanced filtration mechanism also to increase the productivity so as we move from uh, uh, one stage to another stage the intensivity of the fishes also grows and also um, on the knowledge side of things also um, it is much more advanced so typically it comes with an investment of 5 lakh rupees and the investment uh, and the return is kind of a 20 to 25000 uh, rupees a uh, month they are again subjected to all the livestock uh, farming and uh, this whatever uh, whatever we are trying to build we are actually we are having the approach to increase the aquaculture farmers income so that is why we have a platform called a machli platform so whether we are at engage or build or at scale we are always driven through this machli platform so when what is this machli platform machli platform is a uh, platform that is built by SNRS, so which is connected to the marketplace so when I say marketplace, uh, we uh, SNRAS helps uh, farmers uh, to get in touch with the aquaculture inputs like the quality seeds, the fingerlings that we have already discussed, the medicines, as well as the aquaculture instruments, and also our RAS and Bioflex systems all the time. And also, we have an output market linkage where we are connected to the uh, output marketplace that is the Monday or the online e-commerce or some exporter but typically this output market linkage is uh, we, uh, is applicable for the clusters uh, where we get a, a chance to plan considerably how to get the stocks uh, traded so this is the three kind of uh, platforms uh, that we have built so the idea of SNRS is that to bring new people into aquaculture uh, at smaller scale, medium scale, and the larger scale. And also, if somebody comes to aquaculture at a smaller scale or a middle, medium scale, we are helping them to uh, scale them up. This is a typical kind of an uh, aquaculture incubation uh, knowledge, whether it is knowledge or practice that SNRS uh, has adopted. Some commercial incubation of the entrepreneurs uh, to bring them into aquaculture to share them the knowledge to help them to uh, develop the aquaculture be more aware and not just um, you know introducing um, an, a, a technology um, at certain scale at abruptly to any entrepreneur rather understanding the entrepreneur or the farmer groups their uh, requirement knowledge level and gradually bringing them and teaching them the aquaculture so it's a kind of an incubation uh, model uh, as well as a commercial model that we have built so this is our approach and uh, whatever uh, approach that we follow uh, are mostly uh, around this uh, following uh, impact uh, uh, factors so i'm going to talk about it uh, how this te how technology will help us uh, as an impact, uh, you know, uh, with respect to the climate change. As we know that uh, aquaculture in ponds ha has a couple of risks. So uh, versus the aquaculture, if we do it in tanks. So first of all, uh, there are risk of floods. Uh, in some state, there are risk of flood, uh, not, in, not really here. Uh, in this part of the country, but uh, in eastern side, there is a risk of flood. So uh, the seeds get flooded out. So to store the seeds uh, properly, we need the tanks. Then here in this uh, in this part of the country, we have a problem of drought, less, less water. So here we are using recirculation and water treatment mechanisms to treat the water again and again and reuse. So this is re uh, reducing the usage of water by 150th time. Another thing is that the advanced uh, filtration systems that we have uh, is also having the capacity to heat and chill the water. Uh, even the fishes are also uh, when transported are climate controlled. So this is helping uh, the farmers to save the crops and also do the crops in extreme conditions. Sometimes during harsh winter, the fishes started drying. To, so we have those kind of mechanisms. Also, uh, like there are a lot of uh, lands which are uh, not fertile and where agriculture is not so possible. Uh, sometimes throughout the year, sometimes at certain part of the year. So tank-based aquaculture uh, is helping to restore those lands. 
apart from that uh, this kind of systems are integrated with the solar uh, so one can run this kind of systems using solar as well for because we have power outage in the rural areas also in maharashtra we are aware like uh, there are a lot of shed talao so we can convert those uh, shed talao uh, to yield more uh, if we can deploy larger size seeds instead of the smaller size seeds so that is also a good kind of conversion we can do we can use the same system uh, as a uh, an integrate to the aquaponics aquaponics is nothing but um, a soilless uh, farming where uh, fish waste is used aqua waste is used so these are typically uh, grow beds that uh, that is there in this picture uh, this can be uh, any fiber tubes or pipes where uh, uh, crops like tomatoes uh, spinach um then uh, mint uh, lettuce can be planted and the fish waste can be recycled and uh, these crops can be grown another thing is the bioflock technology where fish waste is almost converted into uh, fish feed uh, by maintaining certain amount of uh, carbon and nitrogen source uh, which is helping to reduce the uh, ammonia content of water as well as uh, fish use it as a feed also partial this is some advanced dream uh, to convert the fish waste into biofuel we are not right now into this but this is an advanced dream of buying back the fish uh, waste and convert them into biofuel and um, another thing is that we are reducing the methane uh, into the atmosphere because we are stopping usage of this cow dung which is usually used in ponds but right now uh, there is uh, this is a pure organic uh, aquaculture where we are not using any uh, typical uh, high carbon emitting waste or uh, we are not using any fertilizers here so it is pure organic and can be uh, and also aquaculture in tanks is very useful because partial harvesting is also possible and the same site can be converted into a live retail marketplace and uh, it is very transparent that how those practices are happening and with organically uh, which is uh, currently now in a very good demand and uh, if somebody can plan tank wise then they can have monthly weekly harvesting uh, directly and it excites uh, the consumers also when they pick the fishes uh, life so this is more or less about our impact uh, so to make the uh, long story short uh, that we are we are bringing our engineering uh, as well as biological uh, skills uh, because we are comprising of an engineering and biological people in the company uh, to make uh, the existing uh, process of aquaculture more intensive more high with high yield and increasing more and more crop cycle and farmers income and uh, we are open to engage with entrepreneurs and farmers at any scale at whatever scale they are and help them to incubate uh, uh, help them to learn aquaculture and gradually scale and build them up so this is the more or less is our uh, uh, dream and vision and mission of the company so i i stop here uh, maybe i go to the first slide uh, and uh, maybe we can discuss uh, we'll be open for question Sure, great. Uh, thanks, Suo. Uh, I have few questions. Uh, even others can also unmute and ask. Uh, yeah, sure. But how how do you see the fish market grow? I mean, what is the year over year growth uh, that is yes. happening in the fish market? Yeah, sure. So uh, the fish market uh, in India uh, is currently around seventeen billion, uh, and India is the second largest producer of fish. and uh, the first uh, is china although we import uh, 20% of the shrimp to china so fish as a huge market uh, where uh, there is a considerable share is there in the exports also especially on the shrimps and now new crops like green crabs etc are coming into the picture and this market is growing at the rate of nearly 11% year on year and india is uh, supposed to be 28 billion by 2024 so that is the market and also to boost the market uh, as you as we can really see that there is pradhan mantri matsya sampad yojana uh, where almost 23000 crores uh, of indian rupees has been invested in 2020 uh, to boost this market because india is having a 
huge uh, demand and supply gap, nearly to 8 million tons. India is producing around 12 and a half million tons now. So there is a clear demand supply gap. There is a huge export demand. There is a great indigenous demand. And um, globally also 16% of the animal protein is fish. Um, and right now, uh, I mean, it's becoming uh, the most popular animal protein because doctors are recommending uh, fish. There has uh, Fish has never been under any question of flu or uh, etc. anything else. Yes, now uh, another thing that is growing, that is the quality fish, uh, formalin-free organic fish. So this market is also emerging. So typically, uh, if this kind of uh, technologies come into place where uh, transparently the farms are uh, getting uh, displayed and uh, semi-urbanized way farming are getting done, so it's, it's going to pick up really high. And uh, coming to the other part of the market, that is um, uh, the traditional market versus this kind of new technologies. So traditionally, uh, traditional ponds digging uh, amount of area required, etc., uh, is getting difficult now. Amount of water is getting uh, dearth uh, day by day. So that is why this market is picking more because it doesn't require much land and area. This can be developed in backyard. So. That is how an addressable market is getting, uh, you know, is getting uh, sufficed with this addressable technology. I hope, uh, Nilesh, sir, if you have yes, any, yes. yeah. And uh, in in this kind of a setup, you can do multiple fish at the same time, or you have to do only one species at a time. Yeah, so uh, we can do multiple uh, species tank wise, um, but yes, in one uh, tank, uh, it is preferable to have only one species. Uh, that is a kind of a factory model we should follow. Of course, there is there we, polyculture can be done, but it's preferable to do one species, one tank, but one can have multiple tanks to practice multiple species. Anybody else uh, has any questions? Uh... Yeah, Nilesh sir, I would like to ask a question. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, see, uh, I am basically into cold room and refrigeration. So in this regard, I would like to know that in fish, uh, uh, in Indian scenario, uh, how do you see uh, refrigeration or cold room playing a role in this market and where we are in, uh, in the current, uh, current scenario? Okay, so uh, so here uh, we can talk about fish processing here. So generally, uh, the fish fillets uh, has a huge market demand now, and ready to cook and eat is also going to play a major role. And fish is a highly perishable item, and uh, there the cold room uh, at around uh, that is a uh, that is applicable for the meat. I guess uh, minus up to minus eighteen degree is going to play a very uh, major role because now we see uh, in cities uh, now ready to cook and eat this kind of uh, companies uh, has becoming unicorns like Licious, uh, Fresh to Home, uh, Big Basket, etc. So if, if uh, this cold room is getting integrated to this kind of plants uh, because this, they, this kind of plant doesn't uh, consume much space, then fishes like tilapia and pangasius can be filleted and uh, th these fillets can be supplied both as a marinated as well as non-marinated form to this kind of uh, companies. And we are also uh, playing a major role in integration of this kind of processing uh, uh, to these kind of companies because we, uh, we are in touch with this company. So there I see uh, cold room is playing a major role in processing industry. So I would uh, get in touch with you uh, later on. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Thank you. I think uh, Suva's number is here, right? 7020307244. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven two four four. Yeah. Yes. So Kiran, sir, you can con get in touch with him. Yes. Right, sir. Thank you. So Suva, you have implemented some of these, right? I think in Sangli you have implemented. Yeah, so Sangli, uh, we have implemented uh, and we are going to implement a big project in Lapur now. So uh, even uh, as uh, Kiran sir was talking about cold room, so the uh, 
the farmer where we are in, implementing in Rajpur is also uh, uh, coming from the cold room and refrigeration background. So they are going to um, going for uh, processing kind of arrangement. So uh, yes, uh, in Sangli we have implemented, we have also implemented one, uh, we have started developing one technology in Nashik also. So these are the areas uh, where we are working. Okay, great. Any other questions? How much land or how much space it needs or yeah, so, is electricity a necessity 24 by 7? Yeah, electricity is required 24 uh, cross 7, but if there is uh, any uh, power failure or a long outage, then water exchange has to be done. Uh, so, but uh, this, is, this is necessary to have a water exchange. And um, uh, there should be, there could be uh, spaces when you talk about space. Uh, so generally, uh, each tank is going to consume around 400 square feet of area. So uh, when I say each tank, uh, so these are all 25,000 liters of tank. So the, these kind of tanks uh, should be able to yield uh, one to two, two, sometimes up to three tons of production a year based on the uh, fishes, uh, type of fishes uh, that is practiced. Okay, there's a question in the chat box. What is the optimum size of farm we should have? Yes, sure. Uh, so generally, uh, a kind of a uh, startup farm uh, can be developed at around 1500 square feet. And uh, if it is going uh, to an, a semi-commercial one, then probably 5,000 square feet. And uh, a commercial, a highly commercial one uh, should consume an area of around 10,000 square feet. And how much in terms of investment? Um, in terms of uh, investment, uh, like uh, if, we, if we are going for advanced uh, uh, scale model, like if you are going to uh, going for just uh, using the existing uh, uh, traditional technology to upgrade in our engage platform then investment is very low i mean uh, around 50000 rupees we can provide the high quality finger link uh, if it is going to the build kind of a model then uh, around 1 lakh uh, rupees so build model farms are much smaller uh, in sangli we are having a build kind of a model which required only 200 square feet of area 200 to 300 square feet of area. But uh, the farms that I was talking, uh, uh, which is starting for 1500 square feet, are all farms uh, under scale model. So typically it will start with uh, five to five lakh rupees, uh, a kind of an investment. Uh, then it will, it will have further investment. Uh, typically if we uh, go for a 5,000 uh, square feet farm, it will be around 15 lakh rupees. And, um, and if we go for a uh, 10,000 square feet farm, uh, then it will cost at around 50 lakhs rupees. So, and there are different uh, uh, Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampad Yojana schemes also where one can demonstrate this kind of farms and women can have up to 60% of the year out of that. Okay. Okay, great. I think we had great insights. And I would say that uh, anybody has any questions later on also, they can reach out to you on this number that has been yeah, displayed sure, on this. Sure, sure, definitely. Uh, so uh, there's one more question that has come up by Mr. Sagar Shinde. He's saying at your Sangli site, can we visit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the visit be organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can visit. So uh, generally, uh, once in a month, uh, we, uh, we keep a date uh, for the visitors. So you can get in touch with us and we can have a visit. Okay, great. I think it was a very nice short and sweet kind of a presentation. So probably we can close... Is that okay, so and they can get in touch with you offline also. Yes, sure, 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 sure. So thank okay. you very much, uh, everyone, and Nile, sir, for uh, giving us this opportunity uh, yes, to share definitely. our work. I'm looking yeah. forward.